Hello, hello, hello. Um, I'm live. <laughs> okay, let's just see. How's everybody doing? I am saving time with the camera by just going straight to my desk. And I will be sharing. I'm live. Okay, got some volume there. And turn that down. All right. I think I can see. I think I can see comments. If there's anybody that decides to come watch me, I'm hoping this is playing over my group because I shared it ahead of time. I have never done that, so let's see if that works. Um. So I'm back to fall again. I've been really wanting to make my Christmas cards with my nice truck stamps. The trucking along bundle. Um, but I kept seeing this tree and thinking I could do a fall tree with that. So I'm going to make another card later with that. Um, but right now I'm using the truck. <clears throat> and I'm using the All About Autumn papers. I don't know if you've seen me use these before. Uh, if you come live and you're watching, just shout out where you're watching from. Let me know. And um, if you have any questions, I'll get back to you on that at some point. So what I love about these papers, I love these top ones. The pumpkins are okay. So, so I think that because we're looking down on them, I don't know. I'm having a hard time envisioning that. I love this kind of paper for any masculine cards. The wood green. It's so cool. The treetops with the, I love how there's like purples in here and some reds. We don't have those colors in our trees. We have a lot of the yellows and browns. <laughs> we did plant um, a red October. Um, October red maple tree in our backyard and it gets this bright red. So it brings out some new colors in the area. Um, it's just so pretty. It's up close, the leaves. This is my all-time favorite. And it just reminds me of a place nearby where my husband and I went um, to camp, our friend's camp, um, New Year's weekend. We spent the weekend there at Prime Rib dinner. Got up in the morning and we took the four-wheelers down into the woods. It was all snow and it was just it was gorgeous and the sun was coming up through the trees and I have this picture blown up in this winter time. It's blown up on my living room wall. It was just my husband stopped the four wheeler and said, Hey, do you want to take a picture? <laughs> and so, um, I showed him this and he said, yeah, that's down at camp. <laughs> I said, Nope, it's just a paper that came. And then there's this one, which I love, which I'm going to be using today. And then of course, um, the other side of all of these have this shiny, fun, pretty gold, um, moody mauve, um, pretty peacock. This is mossy meadow and copper clay. So these are great colors together. I think it's so fun. And then the papers I didn't love, like really didn't love this. It just looked like dead leaves to me, <laughs> but this one I used in a card. I played around with it, and I'll show you the card right now. Um, I really like how it turned out. This is kind of like a, a nice, could be a masculine card. I embossed the leaves on here, and then I took a sanding block, and I sanded on top of that, and I sanded all the little edges of all those squares, and just added all the copper clay stuff to go with it, and I think it just turned out really cool. It wouldn't be one that I would thing to do or would love until I played around and did it. So that's how I did that one. <clears throat> and then there is the, the books, which I guess is a Harry Potter, good for Harry Potter kind of cards. And you have this leather, these textures. This looks like, um, I don't know, a sweater, a guy's sweater. And here's another sweater. Fun for the fall, right? And then the back of these. I've got to say, I love these three. And I'm Pretty Peacock, I've started using that lately. And that is just such a pretty color. It's like a turquoise and, of course, my favorite color. And then those are fun, too. So those are the papers we're going to be playing with today. 
And I just had an idea this morning and was playing around and I thought about um, these stamps. Actually, I spent the last night. I'm probably talking way too much. Hi! <laughs> if you're watching, say hello. Um, oh, hi. Hi, Zena. Oh, you're just getting up where you are. Good morning. <laughs> it's um, 7 p.m. here in uh, good old Hanoi, New York. <clears throat> um, so I lost track of what my train of thought. I, oh, that's what I did last night. I was doing all my, I'll show you this after I make this card. I was um, organizing all my paper pumpkin stamps from three years. And yeah, there's things I do that I just kind of let go of. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Thanks for popping on. It's just going to be midnight there. Ah, Midnight. So do you say good morning at midnight? I'm confused. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I will show you what I did with my paper pumpkin stuff because I was starting to try to find stamps that I couldn't find. And so I had to get that organized. And it'll be continually being organized as I go because it just makes it easier that way, right? So um, I decorated the cover of my album and with these stamps and I thought, oh, I really should send my subscribers a thank you card for subscribing with me and this is fun little mailbox. And then I was thinking of the truck to go with the mailbox. So this all kind of came together. It was really cool. I don't normally go live twice a week, but but I couldn't I couldn't wait. So I'm using the trucking along the one stop box and then I used the sentiment from So Sincere. So thankful for you. So I'm going to start out by, I did some things ahead of time. I want to clean that stamp. I'm going to start out by showing you how I stamped my truck. And, you know, I get on here so many times, so much, most of the time, and I have everything ready, and then I just put it together and I talk about it. Well, tonight I wanted to show you actually what I did. So I'm going to start by... Let's see, I've got very vanilla here. I'm gonna start by stamping the mailbox in Mossy Meadow. And then, get some good ink on this guy. That looks good. And then I'm going to fussy cut that out. And, um, Oh, I got you now. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to stamp it again in real red. Great Christmas colors together. What do you think? Is Mossy Meadow a good Christmas color? I know what real red is. Um, I might need another piece. Actually, I just need to do the box. So I'm going to stamp off the edge here because I'm going to fussy cut out the box like that. <laughs> I just thought this was so fun. Yes, those of you who subscribed, you guys subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Um, how exciting is it to, to go to the mailbox and see this sitting there? And I did cut right close instead of leaving a little white around the box. Um, let's do this. <clears throat> and, uh, this, I think it's my favorite time, my favorite day is to go out to the mailbox. Oh yeah, you're in the UK. Gotcha. <clears throat> and, um, we're going to fussy cut out this mailbox and... This can have a little bit of a, a little bit of white around it. So fussy cutting means like we're not really being fussy. <laughs> Is that what it means? I don't know. But one thing we, we are always sharing is that when you're 
fussy cutting out, you turn the paper instead of the scissors. And you'll get that nice edging. So for gratitude month, I just, you know, I've got to say that I really thrive or do better, kind of shine when I have someone in mind special that I'm making something for. And that's when I can really be creative. A lot of times I'm just trying to use my product and share it. And I um, just um, end up casing because it's not like... I'm not that passionate about it, but when I'm passionate about it, that's when I shine. <laughs> right? I don't love fussy cutting if I'm doing a lot of it. Jen, I do. I, I don't mind it. I want the, um, the brother, is it the brother scan and cut machine that does it all for you? <laughs> That's in my dreams, right? One of these days. Okay, so we've got our little thing, our little guy here. Um, let's do the truck. I do have enough room. So what I found was I would always stamp the outline first. There's a hair on there. I gotta clean that. I would stamp the outline first and try to line up. This is two-step stamping. I would try to line up the um the inside part to the outline but for some reason I decided I'm gonna stamp I'm doing a green truck yeah let's get the red I don't I'm done with the red put that one away I am going to <laughs> stamp my truck insert inside second part second step whatever you call it first I just think this is so cool that it just it wasn't perfect every time, but it just was easier to line it up. You're selling yours? Depends on what brand and how old is it. Does it work? <laughs> Why do you hate it? Maybe I don't want it. Oh my gosh. Maybe I, you'll save me some money. Um, maybe it's just too much for my brain and I, I just don't want to learn all that, right? So... I don't need the green anymore. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the outline in black memento. <laughs> and this pad was inked, re-inked, and it was very soupy, and now it's not soupy in spots. All right, I'm gonna stand up for this and try and line that up. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I tell you, I can see it better this way. And that's, yeah, it's pretty, pretty dang good. I think it's pretty good. It looks great. I think it helps with this is that it's not all filled in in spots. And um, those lines, why am I putting that away? I don't need to worry about that. The ink away. And then I'm going to color in. That's what I don't have out. I don't have the tire one out. Let me get that. Two step in the tires. This is tricky to line up to. But, you know what? I wonder if I use my little block. Yeah, that would work. Probably better. I do you need that black ink? Come back here. This is even trickier trying to line up the tires. <laughs> it's good though. Um. I think right there. Perfect. Beautiful. Hi, Rachel. Thanks for jumping on. I love this truck too. We're country girls, right? Gotta have the truck. I had to have the truck the minute I saw it. I have an old truck. The old one they used to have and I will never get rid of that either. But even better, I like the punch because you can just it's so easy to just stamp this. So, so easy. <laughs> Makes you look like you're a real artist. <laughs> and then you can just stick that in there. I'm going to line that up. 
like to squeeze it before I pull the trigger and then I can adjust it like that. And I've got all those little pieces go flying. All these little extra pieces on here so you can do a truck builder. So it's a builder punch so you can add the door and the tires and stuff with different color cardstock. I don't really love it. I love this stamped image. That is just, that's my jam right there. And then what's really fun about this stamp set is you have all these little, you have the Christmas presents, you can deliver flowers. I deliver flowers for about a year and a half. And there's two stepping to the flowers. This one's got two steps, this one. So you can stamp this in any color and then take another color and stamp the over that. And then, you know, the palm tree and then a Christmas tree. It's just fun. You can put the gate on the top. It's like, I think it's like playing with paper dolls, sort of. <laughs> you know? Um, okay, so one more thing I want to do. I got my truck, my mailbox. Um, I want to... My inside piece. I want to play with... Oh, I saw these leaves this morning, and I thought, I want to add that little extra touch. I think I'm going to, so this is going to end up on here. Like this is my sentiment. I pre die cut these two pieces and that's going to go over that. And I pre stamped the sentiment and it's going to go on here. And I think, gosh, I can just do the leaves. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to have fun with this mat, with this um, stencil. So I have these awesome masking brushes and I have yellow and I'm gonna have some washi tape down so it doesn't move around <clears throat> this was just a thought I had in my head I hadn't done this yet so I'm just trying it out just playing and having fun I've got some okay so this is the paper that I pre-cut out that's gonna go on the top of the card and it's got yellow in here there's some that looks like Cajun crepe Cajun craze to me like that color so I'm gonna do Cajun craze and the yellow daffodil delight that's lemon molly I think that's too light daffodil delight yeah that's perfect and I'm going to just start with my blending brush this is really fun really easy I'm gonna pick up some ink and I like to start off the edge so it doesn't get all blotchy in places and I'm not doing anything like particular I'm just going around getting some yellow in here if you wanted to you could be really particular you could do the leaves green I might do some of the leaves green because it's mossy meadow I gotta do mossy meadow and these little acorns should be brown pecan pie <laughs> So there's some yellow. I'm gonna get some real yellow. I think this one right here. Really dark yellow. These leaves right here. It's just fun just to get some ink and play with it. That probably should be green. I'm just getting some highlights of yellow in there. Okay. Good enough. Put that away. Now I'm going to take the copper clay. No, copper clay, I said. <laughs> I was using copper clay for a lot of things. This is Cajun Cruise. And I really like to get that. It kind of looks a little red. That's really, really dark. Um, I like these big leaves to be. They look like my red October out back. Kind of trying to make it look like nature, you know? Let's get this one up here. And these leaves right here. Whoops, too much. Get a little bit. I get that one. This one. Um, yeah, that looks good. Okay, I think I'm gonna bring in some mossy meadow. That's a little, a little dab will do ya. Um, green. 
I like to keep, I don't even clean my blending brushes. I like to keep them for the color, kind of the color range they're in. So let's do a little bit of this here. Just a lot, a touch. Ones that look like leaves. Um, that looks good. I'll get this one to be a little bit of red, just on the edge. And then that one on the edge, there's green. Okay, maybe this one right here. <laughs> these are, some of these are gonna be covered up too by the sentiment. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do pecan pie. I wonder if I can, my pecan pie's over here. Excuse my reach, right behind my stand. If I can get, let's try this one, just a little bit on these little acorns. Good. Yes, I like it. So I'm dabbing it in my ink, I don't know if you can see, and I'm brushing it off a little bit so it doesn't blotch, and then I'm and the more you put on there, the darker it will get. And so, there. Okay, I think I, that's plenty. I'm thinking, oh, I need some more red. No, it's fine, it's good. Let's go with that. I'm gonna pull this off of here. And that's what you have. How fun is that, right? You can use that as background paper. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so this is my card base. This is um, eight by five and a half. And I, um, that's kind of crooked there. That's okay. I folded up the back, I folded the front back, and I think I can take away my pad. I'm not stamping anything else. I'm taking my bone tool and I am giving it a good score. And what's going to happen is this is going to be my inside piece. I'm going to go ahead and get my Tombow glue and adhere that down. So you don't need a lot of glue, just a spaghetti thin stripe. We like to say dot, dot, not a lot when we're putting it on little things. You don't want it coming out the edges. Oh my gosh, I could not find my glue eraser for two days. And of course, without it, I'm making, getting glue on everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that last. I'll do these pieces last. I went ahead and I pre-cut this out um, with the stitched rectangle dies that we have, and it has that nice little stitching along the edge. That's gonna go here. So, and then I cut this out to fit inside of there. I don't know. If you want measurements, leave me a com comment and I'll get you measurements. I know, great colors together, right? Oh, I love the mossy meadow, it goes with the with the woods. Okay, I'm gonna glue this one on. And this looks like a real fancy thing, but it's not. There's nothing fancy about this. Onto that. And then I'm gonna glue this one on. And I'm kinda gonna go here, cause I don't wanna get glue where I don't want it. I'm only sticking this to the top. And I think it should match up with the bottom, but I think the bottom's wider. Close enough. I like it, good enough. Okay, now's the fun part. Where is my, okay, so this is a piece that I cut out. <laughs> it was actually left over from this. So it was over here. This is gonna be my um, whatchamacallit, my mailbox post, yeah, 
and I'm going to I'm going to put that on there. Do I want to pop it up? What do you think? Glue it down, pop it up. I am going to cut it right about here. I'm just going to trim it like so. And then um, I'm still trying to decide if I want to pop up. That's going to go there. My truck's going to go over here like it's going to be parked on the side of the road. I know the mailbox is way bigger than the truck, <laughs> but that's fine. It's all good. It doesn't have to be. Uh, it just looks like the truck is back there, you know. Maybe if I leave the truck flat and I pop up the mailbox. Let's glue the paper pumpkin. Okay, the reason, I don't know if you know anything about paper pumpkin, but it's a monthly subscription that we do. That Stampin' Up! has, and um, I like it to call it my uh, prescription instead of subscription, because it's kind of my therapy. I like to craft some, sometimes. It's just nice to not have to think about it. And it comes with everything you need in the kit. So it's a lot of fun. And we get together once a month. On um, We were doing it on Zoom. We were doing it on Ma Messenger. But I think we are doing it on Messenger for a while. On video chat, basically. And we put our kits together. So if you want to be in the club, you got to subscribe. You want to know how to subscribe, send me a message. I'll let you know all the details. And um, I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to pop this up. I'm going to glue a little bit on the top so it sticks to my mailbox. And let's see. I want that to go right there. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put dimensionals. I got all these little pieces. I want to use up the edges. I like to use all of my dimensionals. This is a little piece of foam that pops it up, gives it some height. And, uh, loose it up a little bit. I think that's good. I'm going to put that on there. <laughs> I don't know. I think I want to pop up the truck too. Yep. I'm not overthinking this. Nope. Not doing that. Because I can. Very good at that. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> so this is going to stand up. This is what an easel card does. This kind of looks weird. I don't know that I love that. I was going to put this down. Put a strip of this down. But I don't love that either. And I don't know. That looks weird. If I'm if I'm putting this here, oh, it'll be fine. It just looks weird all like that. So once this is on there, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my sentiment. And I don't know if you noticed, this piece is actually from the back of, it's actually that piece right there. So I'm using up my little scraps. And I love the gold. It's so pretty. And so we're going to pop this guy up. Give it lots of dimension. We have to pop it up so it holds the card. It's part of our easel stand. That there. Get this piece to go over here. A little big. There, yeah, good enough. <laughs> lots of dimensionals for my easel stand. I'm going to go like that. And so. Yay! Pretty cool. So this is my easel card. 
fun. This is going to go out to my Paper Pumpkin subscribers. Because I love you guys. So I'll show you the rest of the cards I was playing with this week. And then I'm going to move on because I want to get my Christmas cards done. I'm going to make a shiny red Christmas truck. So you saw that one. It's got some fun embossing technique. Um, this one is... Uh, very vanilla. I love this ribbon. It's the first time I used it. It's just so shiny and sparkly and pretty. It's the same background paper, just with a yellow truck and flowers. Ooh, I didn't color in the um, the tires. How could I not color in these tires? I'm going to do that really quick. <laughs> Where is my black marker? Let's do that. Um, yeah, forgot to stamp the tires on this one. Okay. And I could color in the hubcaps, but I'm not going to. This truck has a little bit of an ombre look to it, too. Mm, not sure why. Okay. Um... And I have this fun fold. Oh, with my favorite. That is absolutely my favorite paper in the whole thing. And these pumpkins came from an old retired <laughs> truck bundle that I have from when I first started stamping. I don't know, 2005. <laughs> Do the marker. I did. Yep. Okay. And then. I got this from Lori, Lori Longwell. Why does that sound weird coming out? Lori Longwell, she did this at our Stampin' Up! event we just went to. We just had one here locally with our um, DDM, which is our demonstrator development manager, Elizabeth. It was so fun. So I had to, I saw this car. I just had to make this cute little card. It's so awesome. Yep, fall. I'm, I'm eager to get into my Christmas cards. Okay, and now, really quick, I'll show you what I did with my paper pumpkin. Um, stamps. Obviously, it's too full. It needs... <laughs> they get really close. It needs a second album. And probably we'll pick up three of these albums. This is an album that comes from Stampin' Up! And you can label the albums what year they are um i just made a label for the top of it and then you start from the back Woo this is my very first um I'm, I'm missing this one somewhere sending hearts oh this one isn't done but a couple of paper pumpkins left to to catch up on this was in 2018 but a friend gave me those so what i did was i stuck them in these these envelopes and they don't all fit so I ripped it apart and added tape there it's a little sticky but each one is in their pockets and they're all labeled so now I can find them and they're all in order from 2020 all the way through and they, like a lot of them I could probably do I could probably comfortably fit 2020 in here and start with 2023 in a new one. Maybe not. It's still a little bulky, but anyway, that's how they are in here. I might have to take out, like go from whatever month it started. I think I can get a year and a half, maybe two years in here. 20, yeah, I'm gonna go to 2021. 2020 to 2021. There you go. If I take these out, it'll be very comfortable, nice in there. So anyway, that's how those go in there. Took some time <laughs> to get them organized. And then I have another album here. This has a pocket on it. I don't know if I put that on there. I can't remember. I've had this one a while and it did not work. But I don't know if I like the pocket. This might come off and I might decorate this differently. But this has got all of my... And this... They don't really fit in here that well, so I might be looking for another album for this, but it's got everything in order. All of my 
um, instructions are in here for each one. So if I can't remember what I'm looking for, I can go right to this as a reference. And <laughs> there you go. It's an easy way to store them all. Now I can find them to use them. There is one that I'm missing and it's driving me crazy. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good night and I can't wait to share some Christmas cards. I may be popping in and out eventually. Um, or like on the fly, here and there. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye everyone.